Hello everyone. This presentation describes approaches to collaborative mapping of land use conditions in the tropics of central Bali. We combine remote sensing data with local knowledge and participatory mapping to represent complex conditions on the ground in high granularity. We build here on prior work presented at FOS4G last year, in which we described our data sources and attempts to differentiate tropical forest canopy into multiple subcategories, specifically mixed versus homogeneous forest types. We are now focusing on a new study site, the Alas Merta Jati in central Bali, an area inhabited by the Tamblingan people. The study site is contested. While the government claims to want to protect these lands, their approach does not adequately take the interests and concerns of the local population into consideration. We have developed an open source code base as part of our investigations. The code base, Cocktail, is intended for collaborative GIS inquiry in resource constrained environments. Cocktail has modules to collect data from Sentinel-2 and Planet Labs and combines the Orfeo machine learning library with QGIS functionality to enable collaborators to share workflows and results. Cocktail lives on GitHub. Interpretation of the optical satellite data can be tricky, as the next two slides demonstrate. Rice paddies on the left and grasslands on the right of this slide appear very similar in spectral and textual information. Only the fourth infrared band allows one to differentiate these two categories, as we see here in the Planet Lab asset four band Dove. The top two images show composite false color representations of water with grass on the right and rice paddies on the left. The bottom two true color images show settlement and grasslands adjacent to a body of water. In addition to our remote sensing data collection, we work with the local informants to collect information on the ground to disambiguate conditions that are not readable via even high resolution satellite imagery, as this slide illustrates. In a time consuming iterative process, we compiled all our results into a shapefile with 12 distinct land cover categories and used our cocktail code environment on remote virtual machines to collaboratively evaluate multiple classifiers, including support vector machine, random forest, and neural networks with varied parameters. This process allowed us to find the classification configurations, generating the best statistical results across all 12 land cover categories. The best results we generated are in fact also visually convincing. This support vector machine classification clearly depicts, for example, the famous Balinese rice paddies and the extent of settlement activity in the area. This slide shows details of the source satellite image on the left and the classification result on the right. The top row combination shows the close proximity of various forms of agricultural activity and settlements and the bottom combination shows the impact of more aggressive agricultural activity on the surrounding forest area. In the spring of 2022, PlanetScope introduced a new satellite configuration, coined SuperDove. These satellites have the same spatial resolution and a total of eight bands as opposed to the four bands of the Dove system our first round of studies were based on. We are hopeful that the new SuperDove datasets will generate even better results as we continue our work. The image on the left shows a support vector machine analysis of an almost cloud-free image produced by SuperDove in May of 2022. And the image on the right shows a superset of our study site from the website of Global Forest Watch. Bringing clearly needed GIS attention to understudied areas in the emerging economies is one of the goals of this project. Thank you all for your attention and goodbye.